Alistair, Overeem versus Augusto Sakai. Alistair Overeem is a phenom. He's a legend. He's one of the greatest heavyweights of all time in mixed martial arts and in kickboxing. The Reem has had a 21-year career thus far. And, and during those 21 years, he fought 64 fights as a professional mixed martial artist. 24 knockouts, TKOs, 17 submissions. He, he's a finisher. He's able to take an incredible amount of punishment as well. Alistair Overeem le left his dream of being a kickboxing and MMA champion to become the UFC champion. And since 2013, Alistair Overeem's been chasing that dream. Right now, he's ranked at number seven in the UFC. He's taking on Augusto Sakai, who's 11 years younger. Augusto has an amazing record of 15 and one with 11 knockouts. And in his first four fights, Sakai knocked out all of his opponents in the first round. He won his first five fights by knockout. Next fight in Bellator. And his only loss is a, a close, split decision loss to Che Congo in Bellator. Sakai is undefeated in the UFC. He fought for Dana White's contender. He also fought in the UFC, won four fights in a row. One of them was versus Andre Olowski. Knocked out Marcin Tybura in the first round in incredible fashion, under a minute. He has unique power. That's, that's his skill, that, that's his asset. Alistair Overeem brings durability. A unique understanding of uh, mixed martial arts and the game, the transition over the last 20 years. He has an amazing experience. The Reem is a phenom that metamorphosized from a smaller man into the heavyweight we know now. He was once a light heavyweight. He's fast. And he brings that into the heavyweight division. Augusto Sakai wants to go into this fight and knock the Reem out. That's simple. That's what he wants to do. That's all he knows this guy. That's what he's done. He can fight out of either position or the docks or southpaw. But the Reem can do much more. Alistair Overeem has amazing knees. He, he's much better on the ground. He, he's a more diverse fighter. He's the favorite going to this fight. But he's fighting a really tough opponent. Right now, the, the Reem is a negative 285 favorite. Sakai is plus 220 on the betting odds. The Reem is getting a, a, a tough test. And, and I want to note something here. This is not going to be a, a five-round fight. It's going to be a three-round fight, I, I think. Because all the fights at the Apex Center, the heavyweight fights have been three rounds. So I'm supposing this is going to be a three-round fight, which to me favors Augusta Sakai. He hasn't won five rounds either. He hasn't went to the fourth or the fifth championship rounds. Alistair Overeem's been there. The Reem is still chasing his dream. He's not going to stop. He's a fanatic. The Reem, he doesn't care. Another thing about Al Overeem is he can take incredible punishment. Could Augusta Sakai knock out Al Overeem? That's the question in this fight. Or will Al Overeem prove to be too too great of a fighter and, and ruin Sakai? I'm going with the Reem. 